you started to mention um, personalization. Um, and so maybe let's take like a, a broad perspective uh, and just really go over what personalization is and, and how that can help um, companies in general. Sure, that's a good point because a lot of people don't know what personalization is. Uh, in fact, I find, uh, especially in Japan, when I talk about personalization, they say, oh, so you power those ads. Like when I click on a pair of shoes, then I see ads for shoes all day long on Facebook. Um, and, and yes, uh, to a certain degree, uh, retargeting of ads uh, based on products that you've looked at, that is a small part of personalization. Uh, that's like maybe 5% of what uh, Dynamic Yield does. But personalization is much more about, um, you know, the, the pioneers in this field are actually Amazon uh, and, and Netflix and companies like uh, Stitch Fix, uh, which is a, a fashion retailer which sends you personalized clothing each month, a box of clothing. So it's about reproducing the experience of going into a store um, that you've maybe shopped at for years where the staff know everything about what you like. Like if you walk into that old you know, mom and pop store off of Main Street, the old fashioned version of this, Mr. Smith would say, Oh, how are you doing, Brian? Hey, I heard that you know, your, your daughter is turning too soon and uh, you're going to have a party and I, I heard from Mrs. Mayberry down the street that you know your wife is whatever interested in gardening right now or something. Here are some products for you. <laughs> uh, and, and so that's based on knowing you as, as a customer uh, and knowing personally exactly what you're interested in, what's going on in your life and what you would be, well, what products you would like. Now, personalization in the digital world basically takes that experience, it removes all of the personally identifiable aspects of that and it puts you into an audience segment. So in the digital world, you walk into the store, we don't know that you're Brian, but we do know that you're in the male demographic, we know your age range, we know more or less uh, whether you're single or you know, a family uh, person, we can track data that identifies what type of an audience member you are, uh, what your general interests are likely to be, and then we can recommend products based uh, in the same way. Uh, with Dynamic Yield, we do that uh, across multiple channels. Uh, on the website or on the mobile experience, we'll say, okay, you're part of this audience segment, and so we're going to change the look and feel of this website to focus on these colors, uh, we're going to add some content into the website pages that are relevant for you. We're going to take some content out because it's not relevant for you. We're not even going to show those sections of the website. Uh, and we're going to really make this relevant to you. Uh, so we're going to show you just the, the user experience, the UI, uh, the user interface that's relevant for you. Um, and that. You know, simply speaking, it's just altering the code so that we're uh, removing like navigational elements that don't matter to you. You know, you go to you go to a website, uh, and you, you know, maybe you like everything about a certain brand, uh, but if the shop sells multiple different brands, we don't need to show you those other brands. Uh, certainly not if they're competitors. So we can remove navigational links to those. We can remove banners, and we can remove products that are not interesting to you, and we can replace them, target uh, products that are most likely you know, going to be of interest to you. So we have recommendation strategies and, and machine learning that will cycle through the product category and say, this size and fit and color, this is gonna look good for, not for Brian, but for this audience segment that Brian is a part of.